Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit, lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy, ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, 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 you know, Madeira Walk on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook, you name it, we're on it. Just Google Boss Talk Podcast 101 and all our content will pop up. But if you want to see our visuals, you have to go over to our YouTube channel. There you see all our visuals, our full length skits, it, everything. Y'all see us on the street and be like, I love what y'all doing. Y'all keep it up. How can we support you? This is how you can support us. Is under each and every video, just including this one right here in the description section, there is a link that says join our membership. Go ahead and sign up for the membership. That's how you can support the brand. Thank you in advance, and we love you. Hey, man, listen, man, check it, man. We got a jewel in here today, y'all. East Texas, stand up. I'm in a building with family. This nigga right here, man, listen, he been on the show before, but we didn't get to put the whole interview out, but today, <laughs> nigga, today I got time. You know what I'm saying? This guy right here, man, the king of East Texas is the title he go by. It's not a game, man. T. Jones is in the building, man. How's it going, man? What it do, man? I'm on Boss Talk. Man, boy, what a boss is talk. You know what I'm the saying? The king of East Texas? I said what I said. Who said that? I said that. And he meant Why? that. He Why? Why are you the king of East Texas Look now? at me. Look. It's your go. Do, your, do your research. Look at, look at what I done did in the time I done did it. And ask who done did it. Who else done did it? Nobody else. Nobody else. Look and at, East look Texas at the time is big, I, though. Look East at Texas the time I big. started and look at where I'm at right now. Mm -hmm. Who done did what I done did. And that's respectfully, though. You feel what I'm saying? I, I'll tell you, I put the East on my back, though. This ain't putting down nobody else from the East. Everybody from the East, I'm going to put on my back, like, far as, like, hey, we together type shit. But I came out with the king of the East, and that's just what it is until, shit, somebody should either take it or, hey, boy, it's you. It's you. It's your time now. You feel me? But as far as the king of the East, though, that's me, for sure. T. Jones. I, I, you know, back before T.I. came out and said he was the king of the South, I would have debated the hell out of you on that. Yeah. But because you got the nerve to say you the king of East Texas, and because you basically working your butt off. Most definitely. Then I, I, I got to respect it. Now, can I say a certain niggas down there, yeah, that... That can hold that title as well, most, of course. Most definitely. But they, for they you to have the, a, for you to come out and say it, I gotta respect it. Because at the end of the day, that says something in itself. It done been other people too, though. It done been other people that pop it after me, though. But after you know, but it's like shit. You know what I'm saying? You gotta drop your nuts if you feel like some shit. Say it. Like you know what I mean? It ain't you ain't you ain't down to nobody else. Yeah, yeah. You ain't down to nobody else. Wow, T.J. So if you the king of East Texas, who would you say would be the queen of East Texas? Ooh, in this that's game. hard, man. That's in hard. That's game. a hard question, too. God, no. In your opinion. The queen of East, East Texas. Texas. If there's anybody pushing that hard down there as a female. I got a question. Is the, is the, the B.R. True Girl, is she from East Texas? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like her. I, I like her work ethic. You know what I'm saying? And... Me personally, that's who I would say. I didn't seen her. I didn't seen her popping. She 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 winning prizes. She winning money. She on a podcast show. Like she popping her shit for us by putting her name out there and like building right. her brand. Are you racist? Nah, I ain't racist at all. <laughs> Cause I'll take money from down there. Damn. Boy, you think you gonna blow this? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> shout out to Bo. Shout out to Tape Money. Shout out to EXO Music, nigga. Nah, for yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been knowing about EXO since I was yeah, like shit. Yeah, in, I'm, I'm not. In high school, I, you know sure. me. I ain't trying to hear it. You he know me. I'm, I'm all the way. Yeah. First of all, but you I know, hit you. I, I, I like Tape Money. Yeah, we Tape Money. No, Tape Money. Actually, when she came on here, she shot you out. You remember? Did you see that clip that I put out? Yeah. Where she said I posted it. I reposted it. Okay, because that's where she said that she was in the strip club and that you sent over. Some a thousand ones or something like yeah. that. Now that's my dog. We went to Miami too. Like like she was in Miami and shit. Like shit, we we got on a yacht and shit. We just popped it. Like it was cool. See what I'm saying? You one of them but, guys, man. Come on, man. But hey, look. Excuse me. <laughs> I should have been thinking about all the rest. It's too many artists. First of all, but I ain't know if you were saying like up and coming. Like you know what I'm saying. But then I hit it with the racism, though. Then I hit it. Cause I'm putting you them did. in the same nigga, category. You get that nigga banned. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't get me, man. Shout out to Tay, I love Tay Money. She can't show me love man, on Boss Talk. I'll be all out in DR with different types of, you know what I mean? Come on, you know I ain't racist at all. Like, <laughs> like go on, stop it. Man, man that's hard, racist. man. So let's get into it, man, baby. Let's let's go down through there on him. 
You know, we got to find out about his history. We don't know oh, nothing. Oh, yeah, because that didn't, okay. We got to get so, it. So, you're born and raised in East Texas, right? East Texas, What part yeah. of East Texas? I'm from White City. It's like uh, like West Tyler. Okay. Ain't, ain't that where uh, uh, my boy from? My homes? My homes, even White House. Same thing. White City, White House. What's the difference in them? Yeah, it's about 25 minutes. 25 away. minutes? <laughs> <laughs> But him, him and uh, him and uh, Seco, they uh, shout out Seco P, they man. Went to, they went to uh, high school together though. Oh, okay. Yeah, and White House. Shout yeah. out Seco P, man. Yeah, yeah, why you sure. and him ain't did nothing together? Man, we got songs bro, together, bro. Y'all on a trip, bro. We got that's songs. why I really don't but call y'all, bro. No, hey, that, I really uh, don't call y'all, bro, because that's the part of it right there, bro. Because he played me like y'all were cool and everything. We cool when you were locked up, and when y'all and in my heart. I thought when you when he came home, when you came home, he was going y'all was gonna embrace each other. It was gonna be a movement. I was really on my Man, it's we, gonna be a movement. I'm serious. I don't know. I feel like he did show love when it came to the rolling loud, you know what I'm saying? It's just shit, you know, bro, everybody got their own life and you can't really just be pushing the envelope. I know he was signed. Like I don't know how they how the, how the dropping situation was with his music. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just like everybody got their own business. shit going on, you feel me? So it's just like, you know. If I'm rocking with you every day, bro, I ain't gonna be pushing. Like, hey, man, I need you to post me on the show. I need you to get, you know what I mean? So it's just like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I remember know. I jumped dead I in the middle know. of y'all stuff when you first came home and I went off on him. I told Seiko, I was like, nigga, why you ain't up here? You don't remember that? Yeah, I remember. I'm the same nigga. I ain't I changed. Like, I, I call him, like, nigga, y'all both be posing each other stuff. I was really on that, you bro. Know? I don't know why I was on that like that. Man, I would trip That's just some. That's some way. It's what you felt. You feel me? You yeah. spoke on how you felt. But you know what I'm saying. You know, I don't. I don't really. I don't push the shit. Like you feel me? Yeah. We gonna work. We gonna work, and we just gonna keep pushing. Hey, I still fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I love what he do. You yeah. feel me? Saying? I, I love what he did for sure. About how did how did y'all first even meet? Meet? Oh man, that's crazy. Uh, man, Seiko. How did we meet? I know he DM'd me a while back after I did the song with Kevin Gates. And uh, I ain't know who he was for real. I was just like, you know what I'm saying? I told him a price. Then like a year later, somehow, man, we end up, uh, he started popping, he started, he started doing his shit. He started doing his shit or whatever. And uh, I was living in Dallas. And I was just like, uh, you know, come fuck with me or whatever. You know, he ended up, he, he ended up getting on the phone. He like, look, I got to tell you something before I link with you. He said, man, I felt some type of way when you tried to charge me for that feature. <laughs> I said, yeah. I said, I man. feel him on that. Yeah. I feel him on that because it's something about, bro, but it, it, it's, it, I feel you on it too. Yeah, it's yeah, a, it's I respect it's business the business, but it also changed. Now, when I go to scaling. Well, this is before he scaled. But when he scales, though, you got to respect the scale. You yeah. almost got to just pay it back. For sure. Meaning if y'all gonna work together, here you something, bro, cause you doing your thing now. But no, no, but no. But you no. gotta be humble enough to do that. Most niggas ain't for to be humble enough. I'm a, I'm a humble dude when it comes to business. But you see what I'm yeah. saying though? But nah, this was before he scared. This was more so like, he just started rapping. I started seeing his videos. And then yeah. when he reached out, he let me know that. Like nigga, you know I- Oh, that was I, early on. Yeah, yeah, you like, you know, I, you know I, uh, I hit you up for a feature or whatever, and uh, you, you, you tried to charge him. I'm like, damn, for real? I said, bro, my manager could have sent that. <laughs> I don't know. I said, but hey, that is what it is. I just had worked with Gates and shit. My shit was doing numbers. I'm charging. You feel me? And that's what it is. Like, hey. But anyway, man, we we shook hands on that shit. I ended up bringing him to uh to my spot in Dallas, man. We kicked it. We ended up being in Atlanta with each other, just doing a little shit that we had going Love on. Love Seco P, man. Yeah, for sure. That's my guy, no, man. For sure. For sure. For sure. Okay, so um, growing up in East Texas, were you raised with your mom and your dad? No, nah, just my mom. Just your mom? My grandma, I had my grandma, my uncles and shit, you know what I'm saying? So, like, that's really who, like, raised me, like, father figure-wise was my Uncle Bubba. So, you know, and I seen, like, my uncles, you know what I'm saying, doing what they was doing and shit. That's kind of that's how, like, I I got my sauce and doing everything I did. I ain't never had my daddy, so you feel me? Where yeah. was your dad? I don't know. I can't even tell you that. <laughs> like, you feel me? Do you know him? Do you, you know who he is? Yeah. Yeah, I don't really know who he is though. If that makes sense, like yeah. I don't know him. Cause you don't know him, yeah, but you know so his exactly. name. Yeah. Do you know where he lives? Yeah. Have you ever had a conversation with him? Yeah, but I don't know him. I understand. So yeah, so it's like I ain't got no daddy. Have you ever had. tried to reach out to gain a relationship with him? Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's uh, you know what I'm saying. That's just like another. That's a lot of trauma situation. Like you feel me? As far as like for me to get into that, you feel what I mean? But okay, you don't have any kids yet. I don't have no kids. But you know that um, 
they always say before you move on to that next generation, you need to try to heal that previous most generation. Definitely. Nah, most definitely. And tomorrow is not promised. Most definitely. So a lot of times we tend to put all things, oh, he going to be here, he going to be here, let me go nah. ahead and... When I got out of prison, I'm going to tell you something, when I got out of prison, you know, I reached out, you know, I told him, you know what I'm saying, I just wanted to like, uh, not just mend the relationship, but more so like, you know, just tr- have a relationship. try to work on it. Yeah, you right. know what I'm saying? So that's something I tried to do. And it, for a while it took me some time because I was saying I wanted to do this shit. I'm like, man, I ain't got, I'm out, man. I ain't worrying about that. Nigga didn't put no money on my books and like that. I'm pushing, doing my shit. So right. that's kind of how I felt. And you know, sometimes you got to be the bigger person. Exactly. You know what I mean? Even though a lot of the shit, I didn't cause none of this. You feel mm-hmm. me? With my mama, whoever, whatever. That ain't, that's really wasn't my problem. Because you a child. But exactly. So right. as an adult now, like, and you know, the, with the maturity, uh, you know, I've been trying to talk with my mom about the situation and just, so we can heal in that situation and, exactly. we, can, and we can move on. So honestly, the reason why I kind of got like a little trickled over you asking me this shit, this shit going on right now, obviously. Wow. Like, you feel wow. me? So it's like, it be God, man. It be God placing and, 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 and tapping on me like with exactly. different shit. So like, yeah, it's, it's going on right now. So we trying wow. to heal in this situation and, and so I can keep pushing And forward. always trying to be that bigger person and know that God is always working in mysterious ways. We don't always know exactly how and when and how, but he's putting situations to make you a stronger person. Most definitely. And you know, a lot of shit I don't be understanding. I just be like, why the hell I got to keep being the bigger person and shit, that's ain't really my problem for real. Like I didn't cause this problem. But at the same time, I look at it too like our parents, man, or, or just like my mom and them, like I feel like maybe they didn't have the outlet for real, for real to to be able to express themselves. So mm-hmm. like when some shit happened or when some go on, they shut down and shit because like they parents probably never let them really, you know what I'm saying, like tell how they really feel. So I be trying to look at it in that perspective, like, okay, maybe I got to really be the one like to step up and just be like, hey, mama, what's up? Like, you feel me? I'm good. Like, let me know, talk to me type shit. So, you know, I'm still learning. But at the same time, I be feeling like right. our parents really, all of them didn't have that outlet. You so that's be, why they act like that. You got to be honest with yourself on that. Because like my dad, I had issues with him. and But then you look at my granddad and you look at his dad and you start to look down that yeah, road, yeah. and you got on past that. You got slavery down through there, man. You got your ancestors went through a lot. People tell us not to hold on to that, but it's who we are. You know what I'm saying? We so go it. we can't set up and act as if these things don't trickle down through our generation. They do. Some people think that we're making excuses, but really we're just being 100 with the fact. My granddaddy had went through a lot. I could start to express the fact of what he went through and what my daddy had to endure, and my uncles. But at the end of the day, at that point. And my mom's side, you know, with all the disconnects on that side and the trauma on that side, it gets crazy. And it's so much trauma. We it got gets so crazy much when you start to look at what all has happened. You know a lot of But does story. that mean that you can't heal and move no, no, forward? No, 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 no. You can heal because the word of God, I'm a Christian guy. So the word of God says, if any man be in Christ, you're a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. So I know that I get to start over again. Mm-hmm. I have to find it in me to say, I'm starting over again right yeah. now. And I don't have to worry about what happened. So I start to forgive all the things that happened to me. That's a part of the process yeah. when you accept God is your Lord, Lord right, and Savior, Christ right. is your Lord and Savior. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's a healing thing. But at the end of the day, a lot of people say they get caught up on the complexity, the complexity of he's what Jesus is this or Jesus that. You got to start looking at the process of the things yeah. that make you a better person, a better human on this earth. You see what I'm saying, yeah. and that's where the that's where the healing begins. But now, I, but the thing I also look at too, because, and I'm sure everybody can attest to this, because if you look at, we all been through some sort of trauma back in the days or What's whatever, happening? and looking back at the things that you've been through, do you realize that if you didn't go through what you went through there, it, you wouldn't be prepared for what you're going through right now? No, that's true. So with what you're going through right now, all that's gonna do is like, in my mind, this is how I approach things. God, I know I have something big coming up that I need to go through this to be able to handle that. Wow, man. That's hard. Yeah. You understand what I mean? Yeah. God damn. He you can... have to think about it that way. <laughs> Shit. Because <laughs> you, 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 you man, got man. to think about it that way. I because... ain't really trying to be on the strong soldier list this year, though, man. I'm going to be hunting with you. Like, I'll like, be seeing a little meme and I felt that shit. Like, hey, I'm not trying to be on that list, bro. Like, God, not this year. Shit, I'm trying to kick back and enjoy myself for real. Like, Man, cause, man, 
I was I was in prison, right? I had started reading the Bible. I had never never really just read read right. the Bible. Like before I went in, I tried. This girl was just like, man, before you go to court, you need to read the Bible. Da, da, da. I was trying, but man, Couldn't it's like understand. I got like this little ADHD. Like I like I got to start reading some shit, and I just be like, ah, shit, fuck, I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? Right. But, so now I was trying, but then man, uh, this guy in there, man, he like. And he just took a liking to me and was like, man, you know, you need to. He, he broke down the word to me. I had never really just sat down and thought about it. Tried something. to really understand. So I was like, man, you know what? And I believe in God, right? But I was just like, he broke down the word to me. So I'm like, okay, I get it now. And I'm reading the Bible. I get a I get a email that was like, man, your cousin got killed or whatever. My little cousin, Jacqueline. I'm like, what? Like, you know what I'm saying? I stopped reading for a little bit. I start back reading a few weeks, few weeks later. About three weeks later, they say, my mama, well, I, I call my mama, she's just crying or whatever. I'm like, what the hell? Well, I checked my email, and then she was just like, uh, I, I see someone was like, Bubba dead or whatever. I'm like, what? So I called, man, they crying and shit. I'm like, I'm like, what? Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm reading this Bible. Like, what the hell going on? Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm confused and shit. I'm just like, every time I read the Bible, something go on. Like, I, I, it's just crazy. Right. So, man, I ain't gonna lie. I tried this shit one more time. I was like, look, I'm gonna pick up this shit one more time. Like, excuse me. I, I, I'm gonna pick up the Bible one more time. Man, my mom ended up having to, like, if something happened, my mom, she had to go to the hospital and all this shit. I'm just like, God, man, please, like, like, spur, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, let me get home, because I'm, like, five months from going home, so this is crazy. I'm just like, all right, you know, but, hey, she, you know, everything worked out. She was good, so I'm like, all right, God's still real, and he ain't just trying to just beat me down. Like, that's how I was feeling, you know, for a while, but I'm just like, Man, God prepare, God prepare us for a lot of stuff, and we don't even be understanding, like you know, and you know, it it, it, it has molded me into, I feel like a better person. All the stuff I've been through, like it has molded me to a better person. It's like some stuff since I've been out, I kind of be like running into people every now and then that try to be, uh, that you know try to cause problems or just you know just little dry shit, and it don't really get to me like it used to. You know what I mean? It used to be quick, like somebody would do something and I just mm -hmm. don't like it and it'll be a confrontation. So, you know what I mean? I just kind of know how to, how to you know, operate better too. You know what I mean? So I appreciate that. You know what I mean? Cause yeah, we got to go through stuff to make us strong. Yeah, for sure. Because, you know, inside it's like, man, you got a problem with somebody, your ass get killed. Like, if you're trying to be a hothead type shit. So it's just like out here, like, you know, you get to you ask you kill two a little fast, probably faster. But I'm just saying, it's like you got to know how to really operate and deal with people. Like, you know what I mean? If you got confrontational people, you just got to know how to deal with them. You know what I and mean? And I always say, um, when you're going through stuff, I always like to read Job. Yeah. So, have you ever read the book of Job? I think so. I, I can't <laughs> tell you exactly about it, but you know. Because with his faith and the things that God still allowed to happen to him. Yeah. And he still had that faith. I'm like, and he was human being. He was not just a God. So I'm like, if he can go through that, we all can. Yeah. And still have that strong faith. What, what happened with Job? What was it exactly? Like, it was, it was uh, what happened? The devil went to God, Jesus, God and was like, um, you're good and faithful servant. I'm going to tempt him. He killed his wife and stuff like that, his kids? Is that him? I have read a little bit of that. Come on, man. I told y'all, man. I have read a little but bit. But you know how people always say, God, why me? Why you allow this to happen to me? Like, a lot of people feel like God is the one who is doing these evil stuff or mm -hmm. bad things to you. He's not. He's allowing the devil to tempt you, to, to put you through all of these things for a reason. Yeah. You understand what I mean? God is not the one who's doing it. He's just allowing it to happen right. because you just need to push through to come to the next side man it took me a while to heal man because you know i'm inside like with so many men like you can't really cry like so it's just <laughs> it's hard like you feel me what like when i first had found out about my uncle it's just like you know three three dudes was in there you know that i was really that I was, I was tight with and you know what i'm saying they trying to be there for me like hey man y'all gonna move around man like you know what saying? let me, me be cry. by myself like <laughs> right. you know what i'm saying and, man them dudes would not leave man so i was like damn you know but since i've been home man i had uh end up linking with them dudes man and to this day man like they were some good people you know That's what i mean good. like you know i feel like god just he just put certain people in your life you know what i'm saying like when you just need them the most That's good. and so you know i'm thankful man like i told e like it'd be an inspiration to talk to him again because sometimes i might not be living in my full potential and somebody like that call you hey you ain't doing it you know what i mean so it just it put a spark back on me so i'll I be needing that I really need a little 
safety net like that, like to just be <laughs> calling, well, calling. You always just, call, bro. Just, you know what I'm saying? We always go. You know, I mean, you know, of course. We get busy. I was glad when you when you called me when you was in Vegas. You know yeah. what I mean? I just no got back from Vegas the day before yesterday, but I told you I was going out there. Yeah. But the thing is, man, anytime, that's what I'm here for. No, God no gave doubt. me this position for a reason, to be able to talk to my people, and you my people. So no, no it doubt. is what it is. You no know doubt. what I'm saying? That's I, one thing I do know about you, bro. Like, you put... You put God first, and you I always and you always mention God. You know what I'm saying? And you know, for people who not in tune, they look at you crazy. I'm cool but with it for sure, because they ain't. Everybody ain't got to know. Everybody ain't. I'm, everybody I'm, ain't got to understand. I don't think they can. It's it's a thing where you just said it. Like you was trying to read it, you couldn't figure it out. Well, that was a time when Jacob wrestled with God. And he couldn't, he said, I'm not going to let you go uh, unless you bless me. Yeah. He wrestled with the angel of God. So what I'm telling you this for is to say, there's going to be time when it's going to be something you can't get. I remember, you You probably remember early on when there was certain things you couldn't do with the music, whether yeah. it was whether it was play a beat machine or whether it was, uh, you didn't know how to come in on a certain beat. Yeah, I felt like my you shit know? didn't sound that good. Exactly. Like, <laughs> so, so, so you, but you figured it out. Yeah. That's the way it is when reading the word of God. Like, yeah. a lot of people tell you it's fake. A lot of people tell you it ain't real. And, and I hope y'all get in the comments on this because that's cool. But at the end of the day, Go do your research. Yeah. You, you just talking. You don't know if it was Hebrew or Greek in the Old Testament. You don't know if it was Aramic spoke in there. Yeah. You don't know if the Muslimic faith was before the Christian faith. You don't know if if the Dead Sea Scrolls, how they came to be, the right. canosity of the scriptures. You don't know. You say King James was gay, but you don't know that there was a, a Bible before the King James Version. Right. You, you don't know. You have to do your research. Yeah. And all I'm saying is people be talking but they don't know and it confuses the people. They're not willing to help, but they're willing to throw stones and say this ain't that Most and definitely. this ain't, and that don't help nobody. Not but sure. all I'm saying is you can get in the Bible and I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna get off my soapbox and you can look at the activities of the people who take on these characteristics like Job, like she just spoke of and you can see problems coming from a mile away because you've already studied right. and, and the precision that you will have through looking at other people's instances of what they went through is gonna make your your decision of making ability on another level. Does right. that make sense? Right. That's all it is. Right. I get to read, it, it, it's just like if you're hanging out every day, if you're fighting every day, you know moves that another person ain't gonna know because like you fight you. every day. That's yeah. why it's against the law if you hit somebody when you're a professional boxer. Right. It's the same thing when you're reading the word. If yeah. you're reading it all the time, you're gonna know how to articulate it better than everybody else because you've been reading it. Right. So that's the whole game. You right. know what I'm right. saying? Right. In a nutshell. Right. But and, and and so let's let's get into it, man. I'm about to go out through there on you. Like, yo, I want to talk about you going to prison. I want to talk about like what what was this? What what did you do to bump your head? Um, I had got a I got put in a conspiracy. Conspiracy. That yeah. gets, that's one of the main things they're taking us our people out with. Man, didn't they start that for like the mob or something? Yeah, like yeah, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For motherfuckers who kill in there. <laughs> now they misusing it. They, yeah, they, they, they do it too much, <laughs> they man. Just, they just, oh, that's a conspiracy. You get three, three niggas, yeah, that's like, a conspiracy. Yeah, two, two, two niggas. Shit. Oh, tell like, me, I got yeah. you in the room. Say what you gonna say. Yeah, yeah like, it's crazy, man. And, you know, I feel like, hey, them people, they using it to their best ability to do what they do. But at the end of the day, also, if you out there doing wrong and you already yeah. know that they these people got this rule in, <laughs> in you know what I'm saying in effect like shit you gambling if if you doing whatever you know so what I'm saying? when so, they, when you bumped your head um they give you, they about to give you time yeah they, I know you just said the girl told you to read your Bible but yeah, how yeah. was it going and 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 saying I'm gonna sign for this time man look, I'm gonna sign for this time I'm not gonna lie to you I had just been I've been I had been at the how much they offer you at first? Did they offer you five at first, or did they offer nah, you more? Nah, they just told me it was going to be a zero to five. Okay, that, I, okay they yeah. maximized yours? Yeah, maximized. <laughs> Damn, zero to five? You couldn't give me two? <laughs> nah, he's basically saying either you go get probation to five years, like zero oh, okay. to five. So, okay. yeah, so I'm just like, man, <laughs> I'm in there talking to the lawyer. I'm just like, all right. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like. Man, you can't give me no pro basis. Like shit, I'm like, damn, prison, oh lord. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, cause you know, I don't know, I don't had got in some trouble before when I got probation. So I'm like, hey, you know what I'm saying? But now the feds, it's the feds. So everybody like, bro, you ain't getting no probation. I'm just like, damn, for real. And so, so uh, then they were like, 
you know, it, I had some I had some partners on the case, or whatever, and he was already letting me know. He was like, "Man, your homeboys." He was like, "Man, they gonna get twelve months or under. They, they ain't got nothing to worry about." They was like, "He was like, but you?" <laughs> he said, "He was like, yeah, they go, they go get you something, bro." Like I was like, "All right, cool." Well, I ain't say cool. You know what I mean? I was like, "All right, I got I gotta do the shit," you know. If, especially if you ain't gonna tell them nobody. So I was just like, "Man, all right, cool." So then, um, I kept asking him, "Man, can I get like twenty four months? Can you keep trying to push for me twenty four months?" So I'm in the court. And goddamn, just like uh, we asked for it, twenty five months. He's like, I'm gonna go with the thirty seven months. You know what I'm damn. saying? So I was like, God damn! So I'm listening to him. I, I look, I just get this is woozy, you know? Like you know, what I'm saying because I'm just looking now. I'm just like, damn. I hear my mama. I look back and she crying. I'm like, nah. I, I'm, if I'm hurt because my mama crying, I'm like, damn. So I gave a hug. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, just, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Even if I wasn't good, I had to act like I was good. You gotta you act like you good. So it's just like, hey, at night, man, I just couldn't believe it though. Like, damn, I'm finna have to go away. Like, damn, thirty-seven months. Like, that's three years in a month. So that's how I was feeling, you know. Uh, but you know, man, it's that situation, man. It, it, uh. It taught me a lot, you yeah. know. Like you know, you can't just you can't just be trusting, you know. Just just your, it be your own people too. It be your own so people. So somebody like, assigned evidence, signed on you, signed yeah, paperwork. Two people. On you. Man, it was a girl I was dealing with. Uh, you know, she had got pregnant. She was telling me it was it was uh she was telling me it was my baby or whatever. And you know, I had you know we was all doing some stuff together. You know, just weed though. Just we we're just fucking weed, and. Um, she was just like, uh, you know, I'm pregnant, whatever. I'm like, damn, for real? Like, you know, you pregnant? She was like, yes. You know, I was like, but I, I strapped up. You know what I'm saying? She was like, yeah, but da, da, da. I'm this like, sound like a uh, minister of society. So, yeah. yeah I, so, I, keep, I strapped to Jimmy extra tight. Extra yeah. tight? What you mean? <laughs> so then, you know what's funny? I'm at the airport. A brother come up to me, bro. I'm finna get ready to fly out. This is after they done got caught. I hadn't I hadn't gotten in trouble yet. But they had already gotten in trouble, right, for the situation. Yeah. So he was like, man, you got my sister pregnant. I'm like, man. Oh, damn. He's like, really? Like, yeah. <laughs> I look at bro I said hey bro You said you ain't got no facts I got your sister pregnant fam Like you feel me I don't know where this coming from <laughs> So he's like man, I'm just telling you what she said man, so, it's just so He, he kind of feels It's his sister So I do understand Yeah I think me? it was her cousin You know what I'm saying <laughs> Type, it was, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So I do understand Why he was upset And I you know And boom man uh, Man I, I end up reaching out I, I guess I reached back out to her She was kind of You know She was getting a little bigger So I was like man Let's go take a test so boom, she like cool. My mama said it's yours too. And I'm like, yeah, your mama, mama don't know. Your mama yeah. don't know. So boom, man, them folks said it's gonna be fourteen hundred dollars for this test. I said, man, how can I get them up and back to ASAP in three days? Well, it's gonna be seventeen hundred extra three hundred. I'm like, all right, cool. The girl is like, she feels like this is my child. I'm like, you how? did this before she was even. Before she this is why the baby is inside you. I didn't even know you yeah. knew you could do that. Yeah. I didn't even know that. You. Yeah. Me personally, I, if, if if I got control and I can handle something. I don't want it to be over on I me. Mean, I don't want it to be, you know, bothering Makes me. Makes sense though. So boom, man, they got, did that test. Results came back. You are not the father. Okay, so I'm just Maury, like, Maury. So I'm like, why are you doing me like that? What like, she you saying? Me? I'm just saying, why was you she saying this? She took the money like that. No, I'm mad about the money now. <laughs> you feel? Oh me? hell no. No, the money was to pay. No for hell the no. It shouldn't have been no damn test. So yeah, she knew she been messing with multiple Come niggas. Come on, man. So but that's if why she I, was, she still don't know which well, one of them is the best one. So that's what she was doing. She just <laughs> felt like she just felt like, I, right, you know, he, he got something going yeah. on. But you know what's crazy, man? She she was one of uh, the people on she the turned, on the conspiracy. She definitely yeah. wrote she your ass in, up. She went ahead and went platinum. Of course, like <laughs> you, like, oh, you don't want the baby. Yeah, I got a baby for platinum. you. I got a real baby like, for you. Nah, man, just be the. I'm not. No, I'm not finna just take a kid that ain't mine. Like, Bro, you probably could have got probation. I don't give it. No, I wouldn't have been in there. Like if she would have told on me, like you feel me? Yeah, but I'm just saying she might have wouldn't have told. Probation. She ended up getting probation. I'm glad they gave her probation though. You know what I mean? Because she was pregnant. Because she was pregnant, man. But it wasn't your baby, and you spent. $1,800 How much you spent $2,000 Man $1,700 Damn hurt. Did she ever find out Who the baby daddy Couldn't was put that on the She Lord. never said Nothing to me about it After that and We she never, never said sorry. spoke She never said sorry She never said So you gotta understand All the stuff I'm dealing with At this point Like They ain't trying To put a baby on me and, and I'm going case. through this situation. Yeah, it's like, man, I got, man, I'm getting, I'm getting beat down right what now. Did, what, did, what, did, what did your cousin Bubba say about it? Man, at this what time, he, he was just like, 
if you know you didn't, you know what I'm saying? If you know you strapped up on it, like you ain't got nothing to worry about. So I'm like, bro, I know. Like, you feel me? Because he give me all my sex education. He, you know what I'm saying? He give me everything. Like, Bubba been doing that since I was a kid, man. So it's just like, you know what I mean? So I'm just like, damn, bro. Like, in my life a movie. Like, you feel me? Like, damn. Like, this is crazy. And you know what? This is the first time I've ever spoke about this, bro, on, on any type of that's platform. Hard. That's hard. I'm that's hard. like, yeah, like, you, I'm, you know what I love about this show, too? What's that? Man, we talk about. Real life situations. Oh man. yeah, every every we, time. It ain't just about the music. I love music. I love doing music, but that ain't oh, we all we get, talk we about. Get on that no, I'm just saying, but that ain't all but, we talk but about. We definitely gonna go you down get to really that. get into the. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Because yeah. you, you have know. some fans who love the music, but some people don't know you. Yeah, and they want they want to. Like somebody said earlier, you know, um, they see somebody on Instagram. It's almost like they know them because yeah. the way how social media is nowadays or podcasting. People yeah. hear this and feel like they're your friend because. They know everything, they know about, everything you. about you. Right. You got a lot of fans out there. But I, but you know what I gotta do though. I gotta, I gotta shout out uh, three of the guys, man. That was, you know, that I went through that situation with. That, right. you know, even though. Shit, when it first happened, I fell back from everybody because I didn't know who was for the tear. Like, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is because I was just... I don't blame you. My mind was just saying where, like... Everybody going to tell it. You know what I'm saying? And that's, you know, that's what the lawyers tell me. That's what everybody tell me. So I'm just like, man, you know, I ain't talking to nobody right now. You know, and don't get me wrong, you know, we was real close, so some people did feel away. But, you know, I had some, some of them understood. Like, hey, it is what it is. T ain't got caught yet, so he feel like, man... We might get him, you know what I'm saying? But three of them, man, they stay silent. I love them, man. To this day, we still rock. We still chill. We got over it. I understand. They got time, too. Yeah, they got time, but they got under, like, they, they only gave them. They gave everybody a year and a day, except they the girl. They made you the kingpin. They gave me little organizer, yeah. yeah. So, and I ain't get caught with nothing. Oh, I know that. But, but, you, I, but, but, they get, but, but it was only because of her. No, nah, not just her. Nah, it was a few more people. Her and some, her and other dude or whatever. Okay, okay. You know? But man, you know, uh, I, I love them dudes, man. That, that stay, that kept it real. They stay solid. But even them, even them, at this point, I ain't got no problem with nobody. I don't exactly. give a damn if you told whatever. Hey, God bless you. Exactly. I got. They gave me thirty seven months, and I got out sixteen months, and I did halfway half time. I'm thankful, man. I learned a lot. I just hate. I had to, when I was going through that situation, I couldn't be there to see, like, to be at my uncle's funeral and shit Correct. like that. It that, was just that little was shit like that that used to just. Man, I used to be mad at them, man. Like, you know, when I was just on, sometime I used to just be thinking crazy. But, you know, I was like, man, you know, God, you know what I'm saying? He, he allowed me to go through that for a reason. And, you know, he might not want me to be out there because I probably was going to be in the spot with my uncle. You know what I'm right. saying? And, you know, I used to be there all the time. And, you know, man. And you won't only be hurting yourself, you'd be hurting your mom, too. Exactly. That's yeah, real. Man, you know. Like I say, see something else happen with you now after she been through all this with you be crazy. Right, 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 right. And you know, yeah, man. So life, life just life. Be, life man, life man, is life, something life, else. Life um, going, you know? I, I just like I said to to see you go through that and come out like you did. I didn't know what to expect from you. I'd heard about you while I started this podcast while you were gone. So yeah. I didn't know what to expect, but I expected big things because I knew you you was working before you left. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So just to see you come back out and 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 we i came to your uh your really your getting out of jail party your first album yeah 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 yeah. Well, yeah, well, yeah your yeah, first yeah, album yeah, release yeah, was that was album release yeah, yeah and, and i enjoyed that man but then to see you now and watch all the work you've done with all the different artists and we gonna get into that but i just really uh just respect you for your grind you know what I mean? And you okay. don't listen and, or either worry about what nobody else going on. You stay engaged. And I know you do it really now with a chip on your shoulder for Bubba. You know what I mean? Yeah, most definitely. You know, I really, I, yeah, I think definitely. that, you know, you most got a why. That's a why. That's my why, you, for sure. You know he watching over you. You know he already, he wanted this for y'all. Most definitely. You know what I mean? Man, so. he repped this like too hard. So it's just like, you know, the way he put on for what I was doing and the way he believed in me is just like, man, like. Bro, I miss having that though. You I know, know what I'm saying? I, I, I do miss having it. You know, I still got people who believe in, you know what I'm saying, who believe in what we're doing, but it's just like, man, losing a member to what y'all are doing and to what's to 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 our why, like, hey man, we're gonna be rich one day. Like we're gonna be on one day and we're gonna get the we're gonna get to celebrate together and we're gonna all have stuff off what we pushing. We pushing tea. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, I love that, you know what I'm saying? And I just wanted to be able to break bread with everybody when we do. Like get to it, like you know what I'm saying. When we do get to no. where we're trying to go, you're gonna you get know? there. You're gonna get there. Yeah. Man. But I got his son, man. Like you know, I make sure his son. You know what I'm saying. Straight. You know that, what I'm saying. And so, I know that's dope. Yeah. How old is his son? It hurt though. You know what I'm saying. I know because you were seeing just, just, just seeing, seeing it. it. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. You know his How son old four. Four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So but that's just good that you there for him, and he. Most knew, I know no. he know he he could count on you. Most definitely. You know what I mean? Yeah. I wanna I wanna ask you like you did a say cheese interview right before you had left. Uh, you have you heard from Sean or any anybody? Man, I don't talk to Sean on Instagram, maybe like once, but as far as just hearing from him, like it's been a while. It's been like Sean been on Boss Talk One Hundred One. Yeah. I think I asked him last time he was here. Uh, he was just here, wasn't he, a few months ago? And I was like, "Will you? Do you take interest in East Texas artists?" You know, I always ask, brother. Man, they, don't, they don't mess with East Texas like that, and it ain't nothing against Sean. It ain't nothing against him. But I'm just saying, like, I just feel like. When you say they, who is they? Just all the bloggers or not all even? The, nah, nah, hell no, nah, not all the just, bloggers. Well, who more so? Let's say this: the people in position who could shine light on East Texas, they don't really mess with East Texas. Let me say that, and I say in position, I mean the ones where these labels most likely are looking at. They looking at who's the hottest places. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know they looking at artists who's hotter. Maybe let's say that. But you know East Texas got a lot of talent. I just feel like we just don't. First of all, we ain't coming together like we supposed to. That, that is what it is. You know what I'm saying? We came together like uh, the DFW artists and the Houston artists. I feel like we could have a bigger motion. It's more so a thing with this. Ah, oh, they from over here. They from over here. We don't really mess with them. Well, I just feel like Mama Scott, man. To me, what she be doing and bringing her people together, I love that because that's more numbers. That's you posting and that's you doing a video with this person. I feel like if East Texas did that, for sure, we would have a way better push. Do you, Mama a better Scott, chance. So you saying you agree with her when she went out and got the features from T.I. Sauce Walker, when she went out and got the features from, and the way she did the the uh, Fast Bash, or the way she operated in Fast ENT, um, that that part, what so, do you, when no, you say Mama Scott, what do you mean? I like when she, Mama Scott don't mind linking up. That's what I mean. Mama, Mama Scott don't mind bringing artists together. Let me say that. As far as for me, she ain't never tripped. If I call her and I need something, need something done, like far as like, hey, okay, I had a situation with um, the Big X. I needed one of my songs cleared. She didn't mind just picking up the phone and trying to get that handled. Like, but I'm, all I'm saying is she don't mind coming together, like to help each other. Like, if I want to do, if I want to link up with her, her label, like or. Her people, you know what I'm saying? She don't mind putting it together. She don't mind putting stuff together. That's all I'm saying. Like, and I feel like as, as artists in East Texas, like, maybe we just don't feel like, oh, he ain't hot enough or he ain't hot enough to work with. I feel like, man, if we just linked up more and just got in a studio together and worked and just build, that light will come on us. And we, can't, we can't expect everybody to put the shit on us. We got to do it ourselves. Mama At the end Scott, of the day, that's all I'm Mama saying. Mama Scott is dope. I, I watched her. I didn't want to meet her at first. She'll tell you that. I, yeah. Uh, she running around here. She old out here. Yeah. Running around here dancing with the young niggas on the video. I yeah. seen her. And I was like, hell no. I yeah. don't want to talk to that woman because right. she is crazy. Right, right, right. I uh, when I met her, I fell in love with the fact that she loved the people so much. And she loved the people. And she'll spend all her money trying to help everybody to do whatever. That's what she was. And I didn't know that about her That woman do it for free, bro. She'll do anything for everybody. And... That's why I respect her, and I, you know, she just dope when it come down to that aspect of it. Now, the part about, you know, I be on her about making sure not to let people misuse you because you do so much. How do we turn this to a ROI? No, for sure. And I've been on her from the day Return she walked on in that door. Return on Ever this. since you, you know how I am. You already know what yeah. I told. Her. Well, yeah. how we win? How we recouping? Well, how we, you know, that's how I be looking at it. Yeah, yeah. What well, you talking about spending a lot of money? I, I can't. I, I don't know if I. No, 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 no. She but think. she, but she's just the type of person that she'll give her all. Yeah. And ain't nothing wrong with it. But I'm always trying to find a way to get it back. Shit, who you telling? You know what every, every feature I'm gonna do, like I'm gonna try to see, like, hey, am I gonna make money off this? Because like I ain't just doing features. If I gotta pay somebody, it gotta make sense. Like, well, she came like on that. the show and told about all these stories, so it ain't something that she didn't. It was people that got over on her. One person for seventy five hundred, another for two of them for fifteen hundred. Yeah, you know, so she's very open about that. But yeah. that wouldn't happen if she had a better, and you, you know, go situation it. as an artist. In. And as an artist too, you go through it, and you know. Is, yeah, but you're right though. You yeah. got to handle that business first. First, and and, and, and that's and, big. And that's what I done learned. That business <laughs> is first. That paperwork is first. That's like, it. Like yeah, wasn't it first when you came here? Like when I walked in here. <laughs> so look, that, but I get it. I get it. I really just shoot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Messing with you about it, but yeah, I respect that. Yeah, I man. respect it, man. That business come first, man, and, and you know that it is what it is, but. Man, if we had more of her, let me say that if we had more that was pushing a line that's trying to get stuff done. I just feel like 
it'll be it'll be it'll be something but we all are in I ain't gonna even say competition it's more so like no, nah, I don't mess with them because of this. I don't like this because of what they said or, or because they so confident. Well, a lot of people don't cut balls talk off, but... I, I never heard of that. Oh, it happens. But I'm saying I never But at that. the end of the day, they cut them off too soon. No, I'm trying. I feel that. <laughs> nah, I feel that. Nah, you, you, you really don't. You, it's hard because at the end of the day, I still love everybody. But a lot of people do that, but at the end of the day, they can always come home. They can yeah. always, I ain't the type of nigga that ain't gonna let them come home. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. They can always come pull up and we can always get it going, put these cameras on them again. Nah, for sure. But you know, I gotta get into the music, man. Like, like, um, at the end of the day, like when you look at um, working with Big X and Plug, you just mentioned him. When you work with him, uh, what was that like when you did the song with him? Man. What is it, D to <clears throat> the East? Or what? D to the East, man. D to the East did. That shit's still doing good every doing month. Good. That's yeah. doing good every month. As far as, you know, the pay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, what yeah, I, what I'm sure. making. What I'm making. So, for sure. Um, man, I had uh, reached out to, uh, I think it's not, Dirty Love Bubba, but it's, it's his DJ. Uh, so, he was like, man, pull up to the studio. He gonna come through. So, I'm like, damn, okay, cool. I should have been, you know what I'm saying? Because I was hearing about him a lot. So, I'm just like, man, let me go to the studio. He came through, shit, just on some regular shit, regular cool shit. He was a cool dude. As far as, um, you know, just linking up and getting on a song, and when I heard his verse, I'm like, yeah, he, he doing it. You know what I'm saying? I, I like I like the way he came on there. He he right he right though. You feel me? I went in there and I just started recording it like my my part or whatever. And uh, man, that was a real good turnout, man. Far as far as just the connection being made, um, you know, we didn't uh just talk too much far as like you know on what I do, but far as just you know like building a song together. We knocked out two songs that night. Wow. You, know, you know what's crazy? We did two songs to the same beat. Wow. How did we do that? Right? That was on accident. We too high. We was too high. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, we were too high. That's, that's y'all wise as hell. Y'all just right. Man, but we ended up, y'all didn't know the beat change. Y'all didn't just. even know, bro. <laughs> we, we recorded two songs that night off the same beat. And we was like, bro, how do we do that? So we ended up getting it switched over. Like, we, we put a new beat on it. It was perfect. So we still got another record that we going to drop. Yeah, that going to drop. Yeah. How, okay, and and when y'all dropped that 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 right there, how was the reaction when people seen it? Man, people was like, it was like a wow factor. Also because you know, uh, Big X one of the hottest right now in Texas. You know what I'm saying? So, and for Dallas, he doing good for Dallas for sure. But um, far as people just seeing, like, I think what people when they see me don't stop, bro, it's just something about it. People like, damn, T. Jones still going. Like how? And I think that's what it be. I don't think people even be like. I ain't gonna say people because I do have good, good, good supporters and good fans. But I feel like some people that be like, "Damn, he's still doing it." Like, like, boy, you still going? I Don't think go. it's more so. I <laughs> think it's more so like, damn, like how? Nigga how, hustler. how haven't you stopped? Like, and I feel like that's what that's what hustler, yeah, nigga, and, That's all it is. And that's what they that's what they gotta know, bro. I just hustle, like you know what I mean. Like I'm trying to get the money out this shit, like that's for right. real, like like you know I love it, but shit, I done spent a lot to do this shit, so. <laughs> I'm trying to recruit shit. <laughs> R-O-I, you feel me? That's it. So, you know, man, they really rocked with that, man. It's almost at like 700,000 yeah, on, on YouTube. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, man. Some fishy about the YouTube because it's like, I'm making the most money off that song, man. I feel like, <laughs> man, they don't be wanting to, my ass, they be trying to kick me off my ass. They, oh, don't, yeah. they don't want that. It's like, it's like they don't be wanting that when to go too big or something. Like, I don't they know. They hustling like, too, nigga. It's like the algorithm. Yeah, they hustling, bro. They hustling, <laughs> Everybody man. Everybody hustling, nigga. I'm like, man. So I'm just like, man, if I was with a label right now, but they'll, they'll, they'll shoot go this video the to the roof. Yeah. They'll shoot That's this right. video to the That's roof. That's exactly right. So, you know, doing this by yourself, man, and, you know, being independent, you can do it. You just shit. Just be ready to go on that, that roller coaster for real. Like, and, and you got to do a lot of the groundwork. When Big X Plug came on here, he said that he writes. You know what I mean? He writes. Is why he said he writes because we asked him, did he punch in? And uh, Big X Plug was real. You know, at that time, he had just got his uh, his deal and, and, you know, and and his dis distribution deal. Yeah. And um, with that United or whatever, United Masters. Masters. Yeah. And, um, you know, just a real dope interview, a real you know, focused. He was so focused then, I can tell you that. And uh not only was he focused, he was trying to figure it out at the same time. Yeah. And um and I think that's 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 the key thing to him is that his voice and his, his talent can't be denied. No, for sure. As long as he get the business straight and as long as he keep working and don't quit yeah. and don't get lazy. That's what he told me one day I had I had uh I had I said something to him. 
Cause we hadn't. It was at one point in time, like it's, it's after we worked and we probably hadn't really spoke. He had posted some man, and I had DM'd him. I said, "Man, like I love that. Like you know what I mean." He was like, "Bro, it can happen. Just don't quit. You just can't quit." That's it. And I love that. You know what I'm saying? That's I just it. loved him. Just you know what I'm saying? Let me know that, cause you know, for somebody like myself, it's just like, yeah, I've been doing this a while, but I feel like a lot of people are just now catching on, and and, they, and shit ain't they fault. Well, let's shit. go back to the Kevin Gates. That was before you even went to prison or any of that. Man, I was like, I was like 20. you were young, I was like twenty like, years old. Like, when you look 20, at Kevin 21. Gates now compared to then, what yeah. do you see? That, what's the difference was in the a Kevin Gates change? You know, Gates was on a lot of drugs. You know, Gates was he used drugs at that time too. You he know clean I mean? now. He was clean, yeah, of course. But I'm just saying, like, shit, he was open about it you know what I mean like just far as just kicking it with him like shit he on lean he on you know what I mean and that's that's just how he was living his life at that time so you know Gates done Gates did a man a, a great turnaround for himself and you know like you say they don't understand and people he be saying certain shit and people just don't get it like yeah. they be like what the hell is going on but he moving at his frequency and how he do things and it's just like shit you know I gotta respect it I'm gonna keep moving you, that's your life you know what I'm saying keep doing you you yeah. ain't hurt nobody shit you saying you living how you want to live. You ain't hurt nobody I though. Hurt shit. Nobody. It's just like shit. Cool. He but one yeah. of the dopest lyricists when you see him. The way he, yeah, the way he deliver those bars. Yeah, man. The it, energy it, around it, Gates it, be that crazy. That nigga can rap, dog. Yeah, there's certain niggas that can rap. Like yeah. this nigga is his catches, his phrases, the way he yeah. articulating and getting around those beats is something different. I can yeah. say that. You know what I mean? How was it when you seen him in the studio? Man, I'm telling you, the energy was just crazy. Like, I don't know, I don't know if this happened to you before, but if you were in like a room with somebody, man, it's just like the the vibrations, man, and just the energy in the room, you could just feel it. And like I had never experienced nothing like that for real. Wow. Kind of like um when I was in I was in LA when I first had got out, you know, with Chris Brown, uh, at his uh, video shoot, the Under the Influence. That's yeah. the second time that has ever happened to me. You with, felt with the Gates and Chris Brown. That had never happened. You know what I'm saying? You can feel the vibration. You can feel the vibration. From Chris Brown. No cap. Did he? Was he dancing? Nah, he wasn't really dancing. That nigga dancing, nigga. Yeah. Go on, tell the truth. Nah, he wasn't dancing. That nigga gonna dance. But, but he was himself though. <laughs> nah, he was himself <laughs> though. Nailing, man. Yeah, you. Gonna <laughs> <laughs> that nigga <laughs> Chris himself, gonna though. dance, nigga. He was himself, man. But uh, what, what, what kind of video? What, 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 what was it? A fast pace? At the, at the under the influence video that uh, that. Uh, and Robert Tussin, that one right there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah, shit, yeah. that shit was crazy, that man. Nigga, like, that nigga hard, bro. That shit was crazy. How you end up in this video shoot? Man, um, it's a guy here named uh, Lil B. Uh, he had, you know, he had took me to LA or whatever because uh, he had me. Somebody wanted to, you know, say how let me or whatever. As far as like, for about a deal, and you know, I don't be turning turning certain shit down, especially if it sound if it sound legitimate. You know what I mean? And uh. They had uh, linked me up with a uh, big hood, so they had came to my, one of my video shoots in LA. I had so you know they checking me out, like you know what I'm saying what you, what you got going on. He's like tomorrow, uh, Chris got a shoot, come through, and so I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? My head, you know, I'm keeping it cool, like yeah, yeah, that's a bet, you know what I'm saying? Man, I get in the car, I said, man, what the hell? They tell me to come to Chris shoot, like this shit crazy, <laughs> like like you know what I'm saying? Like like damn, man, I've been since as a kid, I've been a goddamn Chris Brown. I been wanting to see so, this nigga. Man, I know what? he gonna dance. So man, they put yeah. up. <laughs> Next, Be quit next morning, bro. <laughs> I ain't like I say. I ain't told nobody about this either. So, man, I pull up to the um, in LA to like the little warehouse they were shooting it at. Man, you know we just chilling. I'm just like, damn, shit, I'm finna go in this little this little RV or whatever. When I, I came in, you know, so he introduced himself like, hey, what's going on? I'm like, damn, this shit crazy. I'm shaking his hand like, oh yeah, what's up, T Jones? You know what I'm saying? All the time, you know, you gotta act like. You know, you got to act but like really, you know, you're you like, like, what? Chris Brown, man, nigga, I'm, I'm with this Chris Brown, with bro. This I'm like, nigga. nigga, I got to make it. Like, you <laughs> know what I'm saying? Like, but that was one of them things. So I was like, damn, T.J., how do you keep doing it? You feel that's me? That's just when you getting out. It was that's like, favor. Yeah, man, that's favor, bro. It was like, after I got the half for him, so probably like a year after I got that, but yeah. I'm like, man, I keep making this shit happen. God keep making this happen for Come me. Come on now. So it's just like, damn, like, I just got to keep doing what I'm doing, doing right by people and keep moving. The way I move with my frequency, like in, in a positive frequency, I'm like everything gonna keep working out for me. Wow, I, I, so I, I, I think that's dope that you even link with the nigga like that. Man, it so was it was very. Did, dope. did you talk to him anymore? Or you just spoke. Nah, we, we we just had like a few conversations in there. Like I said, it was my first time ever meeting. You didn't so want to run up on the nigga. Do, I ain't finna do all you this. You ain't gonna shit. do the most. I ain't hell you nah. ain't like me. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go off. You you see you you different. 
Me? Nigga, I'm oh, hollering at that shit. nigga like, hey, nigga, yeah. say nigga, say nigga, what's up? Yeah. You know, I'm yeah. that nigga. Everybody know it. If yeah. you know me, you yeah. know that already. So if I meet you, don't expect me to be like you. Nah. I'm not sure. conservative. I might not see you again like you told me before this video. So I'm going to go on and I'm going to go on and go out like that. Nah, for sure. So next time they ain't going to invite me if they don't like me. You even gonna <laughs> rock with me or talk about me when I leave? I respect it though. <laughs> I I'm respect it. The, I'm, put, I I'm gonna be the it. best me I can be. Yeah. And the me that I am, gonna be like, what's up, nigga? Yeah. What's up? Man, you know what to do. <laughs> For real. I feel, yeah, I feel you. That's hard, ain't it? Hey, it is what it is. Either you gonna, either you gonna mess with me or you ain't. I but, ain't, nigga. But, <laughs> I, I, but you know what, though? I do feel like that relationship is gonna form soon, sooner than later. And, and you know what I mean? Like, you know the difference between me and you? Talk to me. I already know. Because <laughs> that nigga gave me his number that day. You feel me? Say, look here, Chris, let me get your number because I'm probably gonna hit you back. <laughs> oh, yeah, nigga, I'm not gonna, you know what I'm saying? I'm not leaving here like this and give me your number, nigga. Nah, I feel you. God ain't yeah, put me I up in there for nothing. But me and his best friend, man, we talk all day. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, he need to give me his number too. Yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. gotta well, give nah, me his yeah, number. Yeah, nah, me and him actually talk. No, like, what I'm saying, everybody must be a part of what I'm doing. <laughs> I feel you, bro. Uh, else. Nah, I feel you. I ain't got time to waste. <laughs> I feel you, bro. And that's how we got to start moving. <laughs> and that's how we got to start moving, down. bro. That's that Because you know what? When I had Link with Gates, I, I did pull him to the side and say, hey, man, I want to holler. He said, Dan, you can't talk in front of us. He said, he he you can't sit in front of us right here? I was like, I was like, well, I can't. Nah, come on outside. I'd have hey, shut that right, hole down and right there. Yeah, nigga, I can sit right here in front of yeah, us. Because, right. nigga, you need to know nah, this. Gates and had, yeah, Gates and had they need to know this, too. Like, all you niggas need to know yeah. it. Nah, Because yeah. yeah. that, that's the infectious energy you talk nah, about. Nah, for sure. They'll never forget. Be the best you you man, can I'm be. Man, I'm learning still, man. Be the man. best I'm still you you learning, can be. For sure. Don't let them niggas make it. Because nah, everybody, sure. one thing, that, two things for sure. When they get up in the morning, they put their pants and their feet, they, just like just we like do. Just like you. Yeah. One foot at a time. And yeah. the next thing, and if they go to the bathroom and take a shit, it's going to stink like hell. <laughs> so we ain't, we the same. Nah, for sure. So all that trying to, I'm not doing that with y'all. Yeah. I don't nah, even want to sure. do it because I ain't got time. Nah. You know what I'm <laughs> Hey man, I appreciate you. Man. Hey, <laughs> hey but, but you see what I'm saying? You see why I like talking to you? It's just like you see, Jones, you was playing that too cool. You could, you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to let them know, like, hey, man, hey, shout yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shout out yeah. to Gutter TV. Me and him talk about that all the time. Man. When you get that opportunity, nigga, you gotta take it. Take the opportunity. Nah, for sure. I wouldn't be here if I didn't belong here. Nah, for sure. You're and that's why I did feel like I belong there in that room, man. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I felt like I belong there. So it was just like, man, it, it was it was it was a real, that real was great experience. That shit pushed me even more. Yeah, so I know after, it did. So after you started seeing all the big accidents, I had just linked with Chris Brown. So shit, I'm like, I know I'm finna. You know, no, no, shit, I, this shit I know, going. Like, I know you on your on your this good shit going foot. for me. Yeah. So I know, bro. I know it's gonna work for me. I don't know exactly when. I know it's gonna happen. You know, labels finally calling. They ain't calling enough, but they finally they call calling, it. asking questions. You know what I'm saying? Like Let's how much talk you about want? Backstabbers. Man, Backstabbers doing good. I was at three. Big Yavo. The, ni the nigga that they said uh, they come on my show. Shout out to Sean Cotton. Shout out to Rain. Why they say Big Yavo fell off? You was with him when they said nah. this. Wait a minute. You was with him when they said this. Yeah. This was two, two, three months ago. Right. Two months ago. How Big Yavo fell off? Have he fell off? He might not be as popular as maybe at one point in time. I've seen him. You know what I'm saying? I, do, I did see him more, but fell off wise. Now he's still getting books. He's still getting shows in Florida. And, uh, I don't know, man. Is this, somebody, internet, is this internet tricking people or what's going on? I mean, what people just, can say something. Because cause I talked to Rain and Rain was Big Yavo fell off. I talked to uh, Sean Cotton say, so look, Big Yavo might have, he might have fell off, but he ain't the only one that fell I'm like, what is going on in that case, in that, in that case, you know in that case, Rain fell off. Because he don't have the biggest artist no more. He getting money with him. Whoa, there it I'm is. I'm just saying, in that case, he fell off. But but wait, that's that's good stuff. Come on, brother. What I'm saying is, if he's saying all these rappers fell off when Mo three passed, which Mo three was bringing generate income to him because that's his that was his artist, right? Mo three gone. That same bag he was bringing uh, that he was generating, he not getting it no more. Okay, he might still be making money off his music, but he's not generating that same amount of income anymore. You get what I'm saying? So, with that being said, if you just want to do a number game in that case, T. Jones didn't fall off. T. Jones numbers doing no, way Rain better Water, than Rainwater that, fell off. Is what you're saying? He fell off in that case. No, he no, no, fell no. off. I'm saying if that's what he want to compare it by. But, but wait though, but far as being in the media, he's in the media. 
Yes, Rainwater is in the media, so it looks like he's still popular. But right? he fell off. By the income, I would say, because I'm sure he's not bringing in the same bag. You get what I'm saying? I, I'm I just definitely saying, hear you. And I see what you're trying to do. No, it's I the truth. I see what you're trying to do. No, but I'm, I'm just right saying, with it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying. I'm listening to what saying, you're saying. You saying, said that. Up, I'm listening. No, 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 no. I, either he I, fell off or he didn't fall off. Did he fall off? I just said, if that's what he's saying about Yavo, he damn sure fell off. If that's what he's saying about Yavo, but I'm just saying, I don't think Yavo fell off though, for real. He's still getting booked. He just not he just not as popular. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I agree. I didn't get. I both big Yavo. You both been coming on Boss Talk One One. He need to come. So hey, because he already you know said his people call Yevo, me. Yavo, Yavo, all right. He all right, dude. Already bro. a good dude. He all right, dude. His people call when me. I rock with Yavo, man. We man, he a good dude, bro. Like, yeah. Or just a authentic, authentic. He real authentic. He wasn't doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like. You feel me? I, I like rocking with people like that. I like rocking with, maybe because he's just Southern or something. You know what I'm no, saying? No, no, no. We from the South, man. He yeah. need to come on Boss Talk 101, really, yeah. to, so we can hash out. But let's talk about backstabbers. How was it? Man, when we uh, pulled up, me and E, we pulled up and, uh, you know, we made it We made it happen far as um, far as the connection, man. I feel like it was good. Mama Scott put that together. Really? Mama Scott. Mama Scott. Like, Mama Scott yeah. got your back every time. Mama though. Scott put that together. So that's, what, so that's why I was saying what I was saying far as... The East, man, if we could just keep coming together, bro, it'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? It's probably artists that want to do want to do songs with T. Jones, and maybe they just, maybe they partners or something like, ah, man, you you will be dick pulling if you go do a song with T. Jones. Maybe it's that. I don't know. It, it's, it's other artists I wouldn't mind working with. Like, I wouldn't turn it down. I wouldn't even charge certain people from, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it's always the assumption in people's head and maybe... That king of the East shit probably ruffled some feathers, and I get it. I lost a lot. I lost a few partners that was. I thought I looked up to them a little bit, but that ruffled. They felt they fucked them up. <laughs> like nah, I ain't fuck with T. Jones no more. He called him the king of the East, nigga. I've been rap. Them niggas was like I've been rapping fifteen years. He cannot call himself that. So that's how you know, man. You know what you say, man. Is yeah, you know. Okay, back to the energy of backstabbers. I'm going right oh, back. My like, fault, like, man. like, Look, nigga, what happened on that video and why? How did? How was the vibe? Like, were y'all here or were y'all in it Alabama? It was in Fort Worth. It was in Fort Worth. I was in Fort Worth. I'm okay. gonna be real, man. I did not think backstab was gonna do numbers like that. I just, really? I was in the studio. I did the song. I was like, ooh, I'm like, damn, this is a nice vibe. Let me get on there and just talk my shit. I was like, man, you know, I want to put somebody on here. They were like, man, uh, I was like, I want to put Yavo on here. Wow. How can I get into the Yevo? That's how I do, bro. After I make a song, if I hear something, I get right on it. Kind of like how you do how you work. Mm -hmm. I got right on it. Put them on the song. Uh, they sent it back or whatever. We linked up. We shot the video. I did not expect this video to do the type of numbers it's doing. Wow. I just was working. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm like, oh, this is just going to do millions. No, I did not think that. Yeah. But man, when my people called me and said, hey, bro. It's up. Yeah, this this is doing really good on YouTube, and I think that's when that label had reached out to me. Wow! But I didn't know, I didn't know that's why they was reaching out. You know what I'm saying? I'm mm -hmm. just like, damn, why they why they email me? They tell me we want to talk, and I'm just like, okay, they see how different that that song is. Like far as it's not just like everything else. I put that um, I put that old school um, God damn, what's they uh shit 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 shit? What's the what's the people I had to get clear? I had to get it clear through Sony. The is the OJ's? I had to get it clear through Sony by Instagram. DMing. Hey man, how can I get this? I got this record with, with the OJ's. Oh well, they sent me here. You know what I'm saying? They sent me to somebody else. We got that clear. Beautiful. So you know, man, that you know, that was a it was a great process, but I almost got stressed out working um with artists because I thought I was gonna have problems with the clearance and all of that. When you independent, you gotta do that yourself. Wow. My team gotta be helping me do certain shit. So man, it was a great experience, man. And actually working with Yevo, bro, cause he he stood on his word the whole time. He didn't do nothing different. Like he stood on his word and what are you supposed to do? Sign the paperwork, do this, do that. Man, it was just smooth. He easy if, to work with. Man, if I could work with artists just like that, Man, man, like shout out to just, Big Yavo. It could just be just like that every shout time. Shout out to Big Yavo. So you can't tell me a dude like that. Well, oh, you know, whatever. If they say he fell off, whatever. But he a solid. He solid in my book, bro. And Already, he, and he's he still getting his money on. You feel what I'm saying? And shout out to Yavo. I see you when you get here. Nah, Survivor sure. of trauma. Oh man, that's, let's that's, talk about that's D baby. One. one of them ones. One of them guys that everybody is talking about when he come down the street, cred and how he's doing his thing in the streets. Everybody loving him. Yeah. Like, how did you link up with D baby? To do that one. I was in uh Houston at uh Sugar Hill. Man, Lil Bubba, man. Uh shout out to Lil Bubba. Shout out to Lil Bubba. Lil Bubba making moves for you. Nah, for sure. Lil Bubba, you know, 
when I had got out or whatever, you know, he was more so like, you know, come rock with me. He was like, you know what I'm saying, one of the artists that actually, we got a lot of songs together, but he was putting me around artists and, you know, I was still kind of on another time when I had uh, linked back up with Lil Bubba Far. It's like, you know, I had just got out or whatever, so I kind of had to loosen up and being around, you know what I'm saying, different. I had to kind of get my, you know, get my little swag back because I was kind of tensed up still a little bit. So Lil Bubba, man, he, you know, he shined light. On um, me and then you know D Baby was in the studio one night and he was like man uh Lil Bubba was like I'm gonna get a record with you and he was like my, my, my partner T Jones he gonna get a record with you too so we went from there and that was cool wow so um D Baby was was he hard to work with you ain't talk about him like you did Big Yavo man Big Yavo like I say he just was one of the ones that just was smooth to work with you feel me D Baby and them they cool like you know what I'm saying I love D Baby music you know far as that but you know far as Easy to work with. Nah, as far as the business side, no. Like, you know what I mean? I just got to keep it 100. Wow. Working with BTB Savage. How was that? Man, I miss BTB, bro. I hate I hate that happen. I hate... I, man, and I can't even say them other guys was wrong, like, far as that, because, you know, when we get in this beef, when you get in beef, and, you know, I just... I would tell rappers, man, you know, and don't even talk about the dead. They gone and you handled your business, whatever you did, man, just keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could have just, I wish I could have said motor bro because he was, he was finna pop, man. He was finna really go up. And yeah. I don't feel like that would have happened if he, you know what I mean? Like if it wouldn't have been too much said about the situation, you know what I'm saying? But everybody got somebody they love and you know what I'm saying? No matter if your, if your loved one did wrong or not, if somebody, you know what I'm saying? Talking crazy about him, man. You know it, it can happen. You know what I mean. But BTB was solid. Um, I linked up with him. We linked up one time, man, before uh, he passed. And we used to just be Facetiming all the time and just chopping it, you know, because he remembered me from years ago and just conversation and just talking about you know certain stuff. And when I seen him start growing, you know, well he he reached out or whatever, and then he was just like, man, you know, damn, but you don't remember me, huh? Well, he was like, you remember me? We were talking about some, you know, some other shit back in the day or whatever, and man. I love what he was doing. And he started showing me certain stuff, like what these labels offering him right now. You know what I'm saying? And hey, hey, bro, they want to give me, uh, what do you say? Uh, they want to give me 500. Uh, this person said a million. I don't know what to do right now. And I, man, that shit inspired me. Like, I love talking to him because it was like, man, he finna go somewhere. Like, you know what I mean? Money man, them had pulled him to the side. They was taking him to Rolling Loud and shit, so he would FaceTime me with Money Man. You know what wow. I'm saying? So it was just cool. Like, I, I love that, bro. And, you know, man, bro, I just wanted to see bro win. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, yeah, yeah, life. It, it, but God let people come into your life for a season, whether they passing away or whether they just coming in. And, and so out. that's why I keep going, bro, because it's like I saw bro with them deals on the table. And him calling me and telling me about it, that just inspired me even more just to keep working. It's like, yeah, T. Jones, you ain't got to... At this time, I didn't really have people calling me for real at this time. So I'm just like, damn, I can't wait for that's me. But I didn't hate. I didn't hate. I didn't say, damn, that's supposed to be me. Fuck no. I said, man, congratulations. But just uh, make sure you get a lawyer and make sure this. Because, bro, if I'm in the car, or even if I'm around, even if I'm your, I'm your partner, you know, I ain't your partner. I'm happy for you, though. You know what I'm saying? And that's the difference, bro. I feel like... Man, I feel like it'd be a little harder for the authentic, you know, but I'm going to stay authentic no matter what. You Always. feel what I'm saying? Because I feel like, you know, what's for me going to be for me. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like I win in a lot of areas. I feel like I haven't won in rap yet, but I'm not going to stop until I do. If you could go back and say something to BTB Savage uh, before that whole thing happened, what would it be? Man, I would tell him, move out of Houston, go somewhere else. And bruh, stay in the house. If that's what, if that's how you gonna rock, like if if, if you gonna, you know, talk your shit, pop your shit, but don't go outside. Like, you know what I mean? Don't cut everybody off and just shoot your content, shoot your videos, and go up. But don't but don't be out like that. You know what I'm saying? Cause I feel like he was just he was just outside a little bit, like, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't moving, he wasn't moving right. And I gotta be a honey. He wasn't moving right. You know what I'm saying? The man was in a damn sling. He had a cast on. You know what I mean? He couldn't do much. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to have some a security or some assistance. You know, we don't be wanting that shit. We're like, man, I ain't paying nobody to protect me. You know what I'm saying? Because I got to pay for security sometimes. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? I have when to. It's needed, like, it's needed. Man, I got to. I'm trying to be at home. I'm trying to make it to the house. I'm still trying to enjoy my life and travel. I ain't the hardest person out here, man. Somebody will take your life. That's right. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So it's just like, I wish he would have just moved a little better, man. A lot better. 
you know. But he had people telling him that too. So I can't say, you know, I mean, it was somebody telling Money Man, uh, Money Man best friend was just in his ear, just telling him to move away, like like move out the move out the move city. Out the and you know, it's just hard to tell somebody, you know. That, yeah, it, it's tough when you when you got a, 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 a that motion. That it's that motion. motion. Everybody it's loving it. Like, and then it's the it's the it's the vice, the energy. It's the it's the whole the whole aura. Of people. It's just like selling drugs. It's the same thing. It's it's this thing that you 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 harness in this type of energy. It's yeah. hard to it's hard to even let somebody even tell you anything. To yeah. be honest with you, I look at it like that. Yeah, too. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's a lot. It's a yeah. lot. It's a lot, man. Yeah. Amaretto, solid. What, what, yeah. How was that? I love, I love Amaretta. I love Amaretta. Wait a minute, my uh, nigga. You saying that a little too slow and all that looking down and shit. I'm just, I'm what saying, What the hell man. is you saying you love Amaretta? But you just don't like me? <laughs> nah, hell, I'm Why the hell? I, I, if she, what the hell you smiling I, 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 I and shit? You say hey, she accepts uh, you, you take? She exa- I, I love it. Amaretta. I love Amaretta. Her. Nah, look, I'm going to be with you. I'm going to be Amaretta. I'm going to be honey. <laughs> I went to Atlanta. I went to Atlanta to work with Amaretta. I, me and Seiko, we had went. Shout out to Seiko P again. Went. We had went. Uh, we had went out to Atlanta. DJ Juice. Uh, Seiko, Shout out to know. DJ Juice, man. Uh, so that's my boy. My manager Greg, he had set up the feature with me and Amaretta. So okay. boom, she come through. I didn't really know. I ain't gonna lie to you. They were like, "Baby, you need to work with this artist." So I was just like, "All right, cool, set it up, let's go work." So we went to Atlanta. We had knocked it out. Song sounded good. Um, we didn't, re- me and her didn't really talk that day, you know. But uh, my, my manager handling everything. He was like, hey, I need y'all to come to Dallas to shoot the video. They're like, all right, nigga, book our flights. We coming, you know. So, boom, she got there. We vibe. We chilling. Everything good. I'm like, damn, this girl beautiful. Like, you know what I'm saying? I like her. Like, you know what I'm saying? And so. Yeah, nigga. But hold on, though. I got to be a honey. I got to be a honey. She wasn't really, you know what I'm saying? She, she wasn't, she wasn't show, feeling you. She didn't, no, no, I don't, I don't, if she was, she didn't show it. She ain't okay. gonna show it. But hold on, she had a she man. I didn't know that. No, oh, she had a man. Oh, the nigga was there? No, he was, in, he was in prison. He was, he, was, he was in jail. Oh, he in prison. She's loyal. Okay. Oh, hold she on. loyal. I started watching. ain't loyal. You nah. ain't heard Chris Brown? She nah, loyal. she loyal. Oh, she okay. loyal. Okay. I don't say that about a lot of women. <laughs> I don't say that about a lot of women. <laughs> but that made you respect her even more. Yeah, that, made me res- that made me respect her. Exactly. She's definitely also, not a hoe. And also, exactly. I love that. I don't want. That means she a, she a loyal bro. She'll hold you woman. down. So wait, exactly. So what I'm saying is, <laughs> what I'm saying is, I'm like, but if that opportunity ever came up, and I ain't with nobody. I'm going. I'm shooting at her. Like you feel me? You you in her DMs? You hear that, Amaretta? You in her DMs like that? I probably had DM. I'm not gonna lie. I don't remember. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bitch don't. I don't remember. I just I just said she's beautiful and that she's solid. So you are and I single like right now? I am single. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, he, no, he, yeah he, for he, sure. I wouldn't. Of, need, I wouldn't play he with her. He in the DMs. I wouldn't even play he with her. You're definitely in them DMs. But I like know I say, you. I love a loyal woman. But like, you ready to settle down? Yeah. When it come. Yeah. When it happen. Okay. Yeah. I am. No. Then you already got all that out of your system. Man, I don't got it out. I don't got it out of my system. Yeah, so let me ask you a question. Um, I see you be making moves. You be buying property and stuff like that, yeah. renovating. Mm-hmm. Why you got into that and how did you get Why? into it? I'm going to be honest with you. I got into it at first out of fear because when I was about to get ready to go to prison, like, well, I, I knew they, the folks was coming. I'm like, bro, I got to do something positive now. Like, I got to change. I got to do something different. You know what I mean? And. I had got my first house for like 5000 It was very cheap because the family was going through something. It was a terrible house. It was small. So when I got out, I was like, man, you know, I want to start doing something else. But I had to get my money right. You know, everything it was everywhere. Like, so I had to kind of uh, start back. So I just started calling different people who was doing it and asking questions, you know. And while I was inside, too, I used to talk to this guy named Nick. I was like, hey, man, what's going on out there? Like, you know, he was just sending me properties and I would be able to look them up, like, on the computer or whatever. And, and I just stayed, I just stay focused on like what I'm going to be doing. You know, could what I'm saying? you when buy property from in prison? Yeah, if you had the funds. Like I guess, if you like, had the funds, right? Yeah, you could still Excuse do me. it. Yeah, oh, okay. but but I wasn't doing that. You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was getting rent money from like one of my rent houses. Right. But when I got out, I was like, man, okay, this is what I'm gonna do, man. I linked back up with Nick, Nick a wholesaler. And we ended up doing business with each other. So it was that was dope to me because I'm just like, man, me and Nick always talking. We ain't did no business together. But he yeah. always giving me game on the property stuff. You know yeah. what I mean? So and I hear you make good money for being a wholesaler though. Yeah, for sure. I yeah. wouldn't mind being a wholesaler, you know. I'll be trying to just juggle all this stuff. Yeah. But you know, I gotta keep some uh, another like income coming in because you know, rap cool, it ain't just paying me that much yet to be right. able to live the life I wanna live. Yeah, yeah. it's coming. It's coming. But for right now, you know, I'm gonna always do something. I could be making millions from rap. I'm still gonna do something else because I'm just a, you know, I'm just an entrepreneur. You're an entrepreneur. And I like, nigga. 
No, nah, for sure. For real. And I ain't doing, you know what I'm saying, what I used to do. So I got to keep some other stuff coming in. It's like, there, you know though. Saying? It's in your mind. Yeah. Meaning you have a millionaire mindset. Right. So it don't matter. It, it, whatever you do. Selling socks, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> you, <laughs> no, know, sure. you got to break the cycle. Of, for sure. Break the chains on your brain of thinking that it's it, one product. No, for sure. Because it's not. It's not. What kind of life you want to live anyway? What kind of if life you I want to live? If you had to describe the life that you dream about. Just the life I dream of. Complete freedom. I wake up. I want to go to Thailand in the morning. I go to Thailand. I come back. I'm not worrying about no bills. My mom ain't worrying about nothing. My family ain't worrying about no bills. And you know, just to have a positive mindset and my mental health good and my family mental health good. That's really that's really all I want. And you know, of course, a wife and kids. You know, family. You know, one day. But that's the life. That, that's the life for me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's a great life to me. Like just the freedom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's that's really that's that's all I want. Freedom. Talk about Fredo Bangs for a second. Like, how was that meeting him? Man, Fredo Bangs. I like Fredo Bangs. I feel like I didn't call Fredo Bangs manager, but I lost his number now, so I need to try to get back with him. But I like the nigga. Right. So that was my second time running into Fredo Bangs. From the first time, uh, it was in Miami at a basketball game, and the second time, it, we was at the uh, at the Gates concert because I performed and he performed. I performed and he performed and so we was all like sitting over in the same area after the performance and so um, you know I pulled a U I'm like what you do you went I off pu- I pulled a U you I'm supposed like, to go off I'm like hey bro what's, what's going what's on what's up nigga yeah 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 so I, I pulled a U <laughs> you gotta act like that nigga down there in Tyler under a tree somewhere or uh, you pulled up on that nigga yeah that's who you are yeah when so. you pull up down there you gonna be like oh my god <laughs> That ain't you. That ain't me. Nah, for when sure. you pull up, you pull up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, niggas yeah. in the, and niggas in, and they love you down there. Nah, for sure. Because of the way you what? Pull up. Nah, for sure. That's all I'm saying. Nah, for sure. So Is that real? That's real. <laughs> that's real. So you know, I'm like, man, what's going on? You know, T Jones or whatever. You know what I mean? I'm I'm hollering at him. He was cool. Uh it was all of us though. It was Big X, uh, Fredo, uh, DJ Chose. We was all just we it was like it was like, like it was all in a group or whatever over there. Uh, it was in Arkansas. Man, it was cool, man. He was solid. Wow. Um, I want to ask you about. Um, I want to ask you about the day that uh, the feds kicked in your dough. Yeah. How was that? What happened? Explain it to give us some details on this spot. I'm gonna wrap it up. But that's yeah. that's something I wanted to ask you before we got. And out. you yeah. were you expecting it? Um, I'm gonna be real. They had already told me, like you they know, who. Uh, the people that are experienced dealing with the feds or if your people okay. got picked up my people had uh, they was out on bond and the feds came back and grabbed them uh, then they ended up letting them out on another bond or whatever so it had been like it had been like a month so they just was letting me know like hey them, the people gonna come I got comfortable I got back comfortable I, I had my jewelry put up I had money put up at a girl house and man, one day I'm like man I'm gonna go get my stuff I, ain't, I got my stuff all at a girl house Man, I put my put my stuff back at the house, man, and had a little wild night, you know. One night, you know, chilling with a little chick. Next morning, next morning, I'm on the couch. I'm chilling. My phone keep ringing. It's like somebody trying to tell me something, but I'm, you know, being lazy. I'm like, man, I answer my phone a little bit. This girl was trying to tell me that them folks were suited up outside my house. Wow! Shout out to Deja my realtor because she tried to help me. She stayed close to me, like <laughs> she was trying, man. And I was just like, I, I was like, you know, you would have jumped up. But if she, if you had picked it up and she told you, what would you have done? Oh, I would have got different. my jury and that money, and I would have hit that balcony. I would have hollered at them later because I just didn't want to lose my jury. I worked so hard to buy it, like, <laughs> like, like, it, like it was, you know, my money. Like it wasn't a lot of money, but twenty thousand a lot. You know what I'm saying? I could have used that. How much was that jury worth? That jury. Uh, probably about 80, 80,000 at the time. Wow. Yeah. So, you know, um, man, that, you know, that kind of like, uh, they kicked in the door, they threw like one of them flashbangs in there where it explode. Uh, I was confused. Like, wait, 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 this really Burning happened. Your like, eyes, everything. Yeah, I'm like, this really happening for some weed? Like, mm-hmm. y'all, y'all could have called me. I would have just came, you know what I'm saying? I would have came to y'all. Like, you feel me? Like, y'all didn't have to do that. So, man. I was, man, I was kind of just in shock, but I was kind of happy. Like, not, I, I felt, I felt a relief. 
Cause like I had just been knowing these folks coming and bothering me and bothering yeah. me. That's why you know I try to stay out of trouble. Cause I don't like, I don't like it, man. I, I be stressing and shit. I don't like stressing. But as I why you the, didn't jump on a plane and just go somewhere where they couldn't get you? Well, first of all, you know I would have to have <laughs> a lot of money to be able to just. <laughs> you, you had know eighty thousand dollars worth of jewelry. You could have sold something and yeah, went. But that wouldn't have been enough to be keep running. him sustained. That I nigga still like had to shoot videos. I would <laughs> still had. To, I love music. I don't want to run. And I thought about that. I did. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I can. Run that I can run somewhere and do the, and, and be a rapper, but right. it wasn't gonna be the same. Like I wasn't gonna be with with my folks, you know what I'm saying? And being able to see my family, and you know, I was like, man, I gotta man up, I gotta face this shit. So whenever they come, they gonna come. But I didn't want it to happen right then. <laughs> but so you know, when I was in the you know in the police car or whatever, man, I had my hands behind my back. They're taking me downtown Dallas. I'm like, all right, I'm about to be gone about four years. God damn, it was just, it was just heartbreaking. You already like, knew. It was just heartbreaking though. You know, I was like, they gonna give me about forty some months. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just putting in, just, I'm just putting in stuff. You know, I'm, I've been telling my chicks like, hey, you gonna, you gonna, you gonna hold, hold it down. It down. <laughs> <laughs> damn. So I ain't think I'll get it. Did they hold you down? How many did you have? I was, I was dating. I did they hold you down? Chance. Did anybody hold you down? Man, look. I Let's had a girlfriend. Real. I had a I had a girlfriend. She 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 she, she tried to ride it out, man, the whole time. But we, we ended up breaking up by six months. Yeah, so I knew that. Six knew months that. before you came out. I came home, but it's what the yeah. chick though, man. She 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 rolled with me like the whole like little time just by communication, just conversating with me. Like that's you know all you need. That and was you, cool. I was good. That's crazy that y'all broke up right before you came out, though. Man, but look, I probably was stressing her out. I was stressing her out. Let me not say that. <laughs> I it was no probably. I shouldn't have brought the woman with me to that place. I should have let her go. And be free and just being a friend. It was me. It was my fault. I so you did advise that any other males that are going through the situation to let their woman go? Yeah, let her go. Be a friend until. Yeah, unless but, you, unless you got a long ass time. Yeah, you got to do what you got to do. But I, me <laughs> in, in, in my situation, that thirty seven months, knowing I was gonna be out about a year and a half, I should have just let her be free, and, and I wouldn't have been stressing her so much, you know. Because you were trying to like, oh, you better not be dating nobody exactly. all of that sort of stuff. You better not be, yeah, yeah, you better not be. Giving up my stuff. Yeah, yeah, he like, but that's what I'm saying. He popping it. Yeah, I, sh I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to, you know what I'm saying, be on that. But now, you know, I had to think about that. Like, man, you know, I probably stressed out. Like, You did stress out. Like, Ain't no damn probably to it. But let yeah. me ask you this. Do you regret taking the plea deal instead of taking them to trial? Shit. Hell no. I'm asking you, you could have turned it up. No, you could have crunk it up. No, sir. You could have crunk it up. I could have. You could have crunk that whole up. Get them in there. Hey, you take them as a trail. That's seven years. They go, they go pop your way. I said seven. Ooh, hell no. Nah. Like, nah, I ain't playing with them folks. So you glad you took the plea deal? Yeah, I'm glad I got it over. How long man. did it take you to decide I'm gonna take this plea deal? Mm, shit, not long. Uh, shit. Uh, it didn't mm -hmm. take me long at all. Shit, same day. They soon he told me I signed. I signed the plea deal the same day. Same day. I ain't wait. I I got a question. So when you went into um, I fired my first lawyer, she was trying to she was trying to get me to tell. That's all she. That's all she. Most. That's all she wanted me to do. She was like, "Your friend's gonna tell on you. Need to tell." And I was like, "Ma'am." And she, she your lawyer. She my lawyer. She invited me to her house. I went in this woman's house. I didn't know you can go to a lawyer house. She living good. She living good in Arlington. Mm. Man, I'm on it. Dallas Cowboy, uh, pictures everywhere. She a white lady, black husband from LA, a blood. Like, ooh. Yeah, man. So she's showing me all this stuff. So before I walk out, she was she like, She make you, know, you feel comfortable. Yeah, she thought. She thought she was gonna make me feel uh, that comfortable. She was like, you know, you just need to cooperate. You know, it'll help you out. She's showing me all these Dallas dudes that done cooperated. She's showing me all this stuff. I'm like, how can you tell me stuff? You ain't supposed You're to be not telling supposed me to this. Be. So I said, look, lady, I was just like, can you please stop that? You know, I said, because all the people I know, they're my family, and I won't ever do nothing like that. You know, I had to look at the lady and say, she said, all right, well, stop talking to you about it, but that's going to be you taking that time, and you're going to get about eight years. I'm like, whoa, like, whoa, get eight years for weed? I'm like, nah. you. you. Did you but fire her right then and there? I fired her um, probably like a you week after. You fired that lawyer. I gave her Because she was 14, trying to get 000. you to talk. Yeah. She yeah, wanted you to snitch. Yeah, that's all she wanted me to do. She didn't want me to like try to figure nothing else. She just wanted me just to tell. I'm like, why would I do that? She was like, you can give up anybody. It don't matter if they small time. I'm like, no, that ain't hot. No, that's not me. That it ain't me. That's I told crazy. her that's not me. So know, she, who she trying to play? I don't know who she trying to play. Who she thought she was? I don't know who she thought she was, man. Yeah, don't be talking. But to that let me know right there. That you know, a lot of them lawyers, they worked them with them. They, they all worked together. The they all worked together. They trying to get the quick book. With the with the lawyer I had hired after that, man, he said, "Hey, man, 
Stop talking to her He's like You know He look at it He's trying to get Some more money from me That's he, it, like, that's he, was, he was like But man Who would snitch On a, on a, on a weed case <laughs> No he's, He was brother white <laughs> Nah He, he was white brother. Yeah he was white What was his name that's You know, Can white. you tell Michael Lowe you love, them, you love them white lawyers Don't you Nah man First of all That's all we got That's all we got <laughs> For us that know somebody Like they ain't You know we gotta be honest man Like they ain't We ain't 30 yet Like we gotta get in there We gotta get in there A little more I can't wait though, you know, far as like when we get some color in the judicial system like that. I, I'm gonna love that. Like when we get that, because we need that. I wish I could go do it if I wouldn't mm -hmm. have chose the path. I, you know what I'm saying? Or my right. brothers, I be telling my brothers and my family that ain't got no record, man. Y'all go, go get in that. Go get in that. Um, justice system. Go get in the justice system because we need y'all. Mm -hmm. We getting bam, man. You know, and it's unfair, man. How many? How it's many um, jurors in in the courthouse was black mm -hmm. when you went in there? Jurors, uh, she well, didn't, didn't go, go to trial. trial. Yeah, didn't yeah, go to so trial. Didn't see that. No, he didn't put twelve in the box. But no. I saw, I saw a white guy, man, with a gun, aiming it at a. Uh, well, his case, he was aiming at a helicopter. He had meth. He had. Every, I gave a man ten months. Right before, uh, right before that nigga so, had an elbow lawyer, man. No, no. They, what color was he? He was a white boy. Like <laughs> and I was just, yeah. and it was mind blowing because I'm just like, wait, what? A gun, a laser helicopter. I had weed, man. And, and so that was your just, first time? My first time. So I'm just like, man, I know for a fact it ain't right for us, man. And, and you know, I pray one that day, man. That courtroom ain't for us, man. I, it, yeah, Not man. right now. We got to stay, we gotta stay out right of that. Not right now. We just got to stay out of You heard bro. about that lawyer. Um, she's a white woman. Uh, was she on uh, Young Thug case or something? Oh, like I just that? seen that. Yeah, yeah. yeah that uh, guy in the rest is just she's out of bond now. She, she was be singing be the songs and everything. I hope she be. She was killing it. Don't need people she like that. Like, she was doing like. That case getting messy. Yeah, though. That, it is. It's a lot. They going might. Around. That's gonna be. That's gonna. That thing they ain't gonna, gonna go right. Out. They gonna throw that they out. They gonna one. have to. It getting too crazy. Yeah, man. Free thug, man. Free young thug, man. Hey, man. Thank you for coming on the show, man. Top three artists of all time before we go dead or alive. Uh, Top three artists, dead any or alive. Genre. Any genre. Right now, T. Jones, give it to me. Future. Future. Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates. Adele. Adele. Hard, hardcore three. Yeah. That's your top three That's of all time, three. man. That's my top three. Say, man, thank you for coming on the show, man. How can people get a hold of you? Man, thank y'all, man. Uh, you can get a hold of me at T Jones underscore GME on Instagram, T Jones on Facebook. Uh, my YouTube is T Jones. You know, tap in, you know. <laughs> Say, man, make sure you watch these clips, man, that's coming up right now, man. You got to see them, man. I know you just watched the full interview, but the clips is going to get very animated. It's going to be some things that you're going to see that's going to bring out the picture and show it to you in a whole nother way on a whole nother level. And it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. Boss Talk. Where the bosses talk. And we out.